the Koronok 22. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. A lot of names this season with weapons have been weird, but here we are. We're talking about this brand new solar energy auto rifle. Now this weapon is very interesting. For one, let's get this out of the way. It is a world drop. So your desire to get this weapon as is, is not gonna be as high as other weapons you can farm. Now, does this weapon have any outstanding perks, combinations you could do that you can see nowhere else? Not really. This is a 600 RPM auto rifle and your opinion on that archetype in PVE at least will definitely determine whether or not you wanna get this. In PVP, I'm sure we'll make another video because this does have target lock so there is definitely some interesting things you can do with this weapon in pvp but as is now this is a very interesting solar auto rifle to use and you earn this by open legendary engrams or rank up factions in the world nothing too crazy you kind of can't farm this you can but you also can't so just keep that in mind now let's jump into all the perks we'll be talking about the origin trait and then reading them from right to left will number so you guys can follow along zero synergy is the origin trait reloading grants this weapon bonus handling and reduces incoming flinch for a short time this is something that's passive it's definitely more effective in pvp but in pve it's a passive origin trait you'll get benefits and be nice now over in column four we have incandescent cascade point target lock under rover adrenaline junkie and adagio over in column three we have zen moment perfect float shot swap surplus feeding frenzy and envious assassin over in column two for magazines we have extended mag alloy magazine appended mag armor piercing rounds high caliber rounds ricochet rounds flared magwell and light mag and guys the first three barrels will go in order arrowhead break chamber compensator and corkscrew rifling are the main ones you want to get if you do care about your barrels this is pve so i don't think barrels are going to be as important as it would be in pvp so just keep that in mind now, when it comes to the best roll or the god roll in this case for this weapon in PvE, you're going to want to have this. Now, Arrowhead Break obviously is my preferred barrel of choice. Armor piercing rounds for some of that over penetrating rounds you can get with, with the perk itself. I think it's good in this case. It's very much needed since this is a not as high impacting auto rifle as we want. Envious Assassin is a great perk. I love this perk. I cannot not put this perk on. And since I'm rocking a lot of weapons with Envious Assassin, there's a lot of synergy going on with all my weapons, so it's very nice. Incandescent, because of course, you're having a solar weapon, you can get this perk, kind of want to have this perk. It has great synergy with the solar subclass, we'll get into that shortly. So if you guys are looking for Scorch builds, this is a perk you're going to want on this weapon, because it is going to be incredible. But besides that, this weapon itself, it's very solid, it's very good, but I'll be honest, this isn't going to be the best auto rifle in the game for PvE. It's something you can get if you're a new player. This is something you can find and get. I prefer you, you know, getting the Amet AR2, which is here on screen what I have and a lot of people have the God Roll, Arrowhead Break, Armor Piercing Rounds, Ambitious Assassin, which works the same way as Envious Assassin in an opposite way. So you require kills with that weapon to overflow the mag and then incandescent again works the same way as it does on the other one it is a 450 rpm archetype so it will be hitting a little bit harder feel a little bit different and i still think that this is the top tier choice because again you can craft it you can dictate and control what you want on this gun that's something the other one does not have now not to say that this weapon isn't useless it just doesn't compete as a solar primary when there's many other options out there in the game however i will still be rocking this in basic playlist if i want to just mess around with different stuff utilize incandescent with my solar scorch build for hunters but yeah now in the end game of end games mathematically number crunching Kinetic damage primaries will definitely be the better option and the smarter option if you care about damage in those end game scenarios. But if you guys are rotating just basic playlists, this weapon itself should be definitely on the fun side of things. Is it going to blow you away? Probably not, but it's something to get. If you guys are looking for a 600 RPM solar auto rifle, then this could be a choice for you. Nothing to go over the moon, but again, if you do care, you know what to get for. But besides that, let me know your guys' thoughts on this weapon. Um, Synergy with Solar, it's great. It's what I prefer. But besides that, I mean, it is what it is. This is a fun gun to get. It looks pretty cool for just being another basic Soros design. And for some reason, I like those simple Soros designs. They've always hit me in a different way. Maybe because I'm a D1 veteran. Who knows? But besides that, let me know your guys' thoughts on this weapon itself. Do you guys care for it? Do you guys not care? If you do have it, let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, maybe 600 RPMs need a little bit of buffing in PVE. I know that weapons itself do need a little bit of buffing to keep up with SMGs, which I think is perfectly fine. So I'm excited to see where things go with this weapon in the future but with that being said if you guys enjoyed definitely drop this video a like if you guys want to comment leave a comment down below your thoughts if you guys are new here and want more content from me definitely be sure to subscribe button and that bell to be notified when i drop more content but until then that's all i got for this one challenge you here and i'm out